let's push off with gorgeous Nalini Bhatt and her sensational feature on Guru Satya Sai Baba. Stay with us. Love is my form, truth is my breath, this is my food. Love is my form, truth is my breath. My form, truth is my bread, this is my food. Be it Prashanti, offer our humblest pranams at the most sacred lotus feet of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. Welcome, brothers and sisters. This is Nalini. In 1977, the Sai world was blessed with the most precious mantra of Sai Gayatri. It was in the glorious presence of Sri Baba himself that a great Vedic scholar Sri Gandhikota Subramanya Shastri was inspired to announce Sri Satya Sai Gayatri, the mystic formula devoted to Sri Satya Sai. Just as the classic Gayatri mantra was revealed by sage Vishwamitra, Sai Gayatri was revealed by Subramanya Shastri. We bring you the narrative in connection with Sai Gayatri in three parts. The first will be dedicated to Sri Shastri, the seer of the Sai Gayatri mantra. The second and third parts will focus on the origin, meaning and the potency of this sacred mantra as explained by his son, Shri Gandhikoti Subarao. Shri Shastri spent his entire life as per the dictums of Sanatana Dharma. He had the great good fortune of contemplating and assimilating the Vedic wisdom at the lotus feet of Shri Baba. Baba declared him as the doyen of Vedic knowledge and made him a member of the Prashanti Academy of Scholars. An authority on Vedas, Shastriji was the obvious choice to preside over the Yajnas in Prashanti Nilayam. Let us watch Shastriji's son, Sri Subbarao, talk about Sai Gayatri and his father. Only an avatar can inspire the spontaneous outburst of a mantra equivalent to the Vedic Gayatris. That mantra means we realize through our spiritual texts, we realize through the word of the selfless preceptors, gurus, and we realize above all by our own direct experience that this Sai is divinity incarnate. That is the first part of the statement. After recognizing our understanding that this Sai is divine, fully divine, what do we do? We meditate on this God of truth with faith and trust. And what do we do after adoration? You pray for yourself in a spiritual sense of the term, not for selfish purposes. We earnestly pray to that all in all divinity, Sarvaha. Sarvaha means all in all. The all which is in every one of us. That divinity, the Atmic, the Brahmic consciousness is invoked to inspire us, to guide us, to lead us on the liberating path of truth, right action, peace, love, non-violence, and above all, of service and sacrifice. That is the sum and substance of this mantra. Holy Personality, the one who revealed it, was the greatest living Vedic scholar at that time of India. He was the authentic interpreter of Vedas, who was the last of the line, as Swami had said. And extraordinary miracles of reviving the dead, even. He gave life to my father when he was being put on the floor, when doctors had pronounced him almost dead. And there comes a telegram from Baba to me, saying, don't worry, I take care of him. Shocking. After I received the telegram, after about an hour, he was in great coma, almost passed away. And the doctors advised me to arrange for funeral. And then this telegram arrives. He wait, he opens his eyes and smiles at me. It was the most mind-boggling experience right here. In my father's case, he rescued him from the jaws of death. Shastriji hailed from a long line of scholars in the Bharat Vajagotra. His very birth occurred after his father conducted a Putra Kameshti Yaga, which was the same Yaga conducted by Dasharatha in Treta Yuga. When Shastriji merged in Divine Lotus Feet, Baba himself offered the most reverential tribute to him, extolling his virtues thus. Shastriji lived up to the high standards of Vedic living with devotional surrender and immense love for Swami. 
Having imbibed the nectarine essence of all the Vedas, this great scholar sincerely believed in the truth that Satya Sai is verily the embodiment of all divinities. Possessed with such faith, he spent his last days in the closest proximity of Swami in Prashantinilayam. With a broad and nectarine heart, he earned the right to immortality. Swami chose Shastriji as an instrument to bless all humanity with a unique opportunity to climb higher on the spiritual ladder. Thank you for watching Prashanti. Jai Sai Ram. Love is my form, truth is my breath, this is my food. Love is my form, truth is my breath. My form, truth is my bread, please is my food. We at Prashanti offer our humblest pranams at the most sacred lotus feet of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. Welcome, brothers and sisters. This is Nalini. Last week we brought you the noble life of Sri Kantikota Subramanya Shastri, the great seer of the sacred mantra of Sri Sai Gayatri. The meaning of Sri Sai Gayatri translates to as follows. We know Sri Satya Sai as the supreme divinity. We meditate on this God of truth. May that Almighty lead us to liberation. Today, let us learn more about the sacred Sai Gayatri explained beautifully by Sri Subbarao the illustrious son of the Rishi who revealed the great mantra, Sri Subramanya Shastri. We come to the three parts of this great Gayatri mantra. First, it begins with Om, the essence of the classical Gayatri, the most ancient but ever new, the eternal wisdom of the sages revealed, relating to the absolute and the relative realities. When you recite it, with proper accents and intonation, with meaning, combined with a dedication of your heart. It protects your life. It is life-giving. We have three parts to it, of eight letters each, coming to 24 letters, Vedic syllables, arranged in such wise that when they are added up, he is numberless. But we start counting. To infinite you can't. Ultimately you get back to that one. God is one, expressed in different names and manifesting himself, depending on the devotee's intensity of devotion, in that particular form with which the devotee is absorbed, he must appear before you. This is stated in the Vedic, as you think, so you become. It is that complete absorption of no differentiation between the one who meditates, the process of meditation, and the meditated. Vidmahe means we have come to recognize that Sai is Ishwar. By the words of the scriptures, by the Guru's word, these two are only 10%. 5% scriptures, 5% is what the Guru tells you. It is your own experience. You must walk your own path. The Guru is the guide, the scriptures explain. What is Sai? The Universal Divine Father is called Saha. The Universal Divine Mother is called Ai. The combination of these two makes Sai. Shiva Shakti. Bhagavan is expressed as Shiva Shakti. Swami Shit Shastriji, shall I show you my real form? This is an extraordinary picture materialized by Bhagavan to my father three decades ago. He was comparing Baba with some of the Vedic personalities. He forgot to mention about Shiva. Swami gave it to my father saying, 
This is my true form. That picture has a big O. In the middle is this coiled hydra headed serpent. On that coiled seat with the raised hood covering it, inside this big omkar is a linga. Right in the middle was Swami's picture, Shastriji. This is my true form. It was electrifying. He confers liberation. This is the hallmark of an avatar. It is intensely active. Activism at its best. Any action which arises out of meditation is cleansed of selfishness. Selfishness is sin. There is no original sin in Vedic thought. Selfishness stains all actions which leave unerasable impressions carried over to your next life. The second part of eight letters. We meditate on this Satya Dev, this God of truth established in truth. His name also is Satya. After having recognized that here is divinity, you must internalize the characteristics of this avatar, his glories, his miracles. You meditate on the truth of all truths, the essence of this divinity. If you practice truth, what you say begins to happen. Your word is sacred. Practicing virtue protects you, not only in this life, but in the next lives also. Now we come to the third part that he's called only that. That entity, that all in all, lead us, inspire us. In Kali Yuga, the very name of the divine, his remembrance, will lead you ultimately to that final path of liberation. Gayatri is the holiest mantra dedicated to divinities only. The last Gayatri we heard in this great land was the Gayatri dedicated to Krishna 5,200 years ago. After that, there was no revelation of any Gayatri for any other. In 1977, the Satsai Gayatri emerged automatically by the touch of the hand of Baba on this great scholar's head, who in the middle of his speech stopped. Baba said, go ahead and say it. And it came out spontaneously out of the Vedic mouth of a great Vedic scholar, who Holy time, Christmas Eve, holy place, Brandavan, the residence of Bhagavan Baba, right under his own inspiration. Holy personality, the greatest living Vedic scholar at that time of India. The authentic interpreter of Vedas. Credibility is there. Holy presence is there. Therefore, that's the power. This reverberates all through the world now. It is Sachi Sai who gives the power to that mantra. The mantra of the modern age, dedicated to the living God. It has more radiation. God is everywhere. But we concentrate on one point to get the benefit out of that concentrated sunshine. Thank you for watching Prashanti. Jai Let's start this 60 minute production with beautiful Nalini Bhatt and her insight on His Highness Satya Sai Baba. Come on close, let's have a look. Love is my form, truth is my breath, this is my food. Love is my form, truth is my breath. My form, truth is my bread, this is my food. We at Prashanti offer our humblest pranams at the most sacred lotus feet of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. Welcome, brothers and sisters. This is Nalini. In the previous segments, we talked about the sacred Sai Gayatri Mantra and its composer Sri Subramanya Shastri. Today's Prashanti brings you Sri Gandikota Supara, the great son of the illustrious Sri Subramanya Shastri, who was a top executive at the United Nations and a Vedic scholar in his own rights. While his father was the Rishi of Sai Gayatri, Sri Subara was the seer of two more Gayatris. Surya Bhaskara Gayatri and the Hiranyagarbha Gayatri. With his deep knowledge garnered from the Vedas, Sri Subharao founded the Hindu Temple Society and with the help of a UN colleague succeeded in erecting the magnificent Ganesha Temple in New York, the very first temple in North America in 1977. He inspired the Hindu Temple Society to adopt the unitary symbol of all the major faiths as its emblem, styled after the Sri Satya Sai Sarvadharma symbol. Subarav also established the Sri Satya Sai Study Circle in the United Nations and was the founder member of Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan of New York chapter. After serving in top position in UN, Sri Subarav took an early retirement in 1985 
obeying Swami's command that he take care of his aged father. After retirement for the next 18 years, Sri Subarao lived in Prashanti Nilayam and devoted his life to service, editing the ashram magazine Sanatana Sarathi and books including Satya Sai Speaks 30 volumes of Swami's discourses. In September 1997, as Bhagwan was riding the golden chariot, Bhagwan inspired Sri Subarao, son of Subramanya Shastri, and revealed the Sai Surya Gayatri in 1999 during the Shivratri celebrations at the time of Lingodbhavam. Bhagwan inspired and revealed the Sai Hiranyagarbha Gayatri to Subarao Sir. Bhagwan's mercy and interest in the Sai Three Mantras motivated Sri Subarao to prepare a Sai Chakra, a diagrammatic representation of the Sri Satya Sai Gayatri Mantra, the key to the understanding of the essence of Satya Sai Avatar. Baba blessed this Yantra thrice. He potentized every word, line and curve in the Chakra by touching them. Sai Chakra. It is called Sai Tri because three Gayatris of Swami, he wanted to make into a Yantra. The learned Pandit said you must have some base. We go along with the Tri Chakra, where 33 deities are put together. So we will have that power into this. And along with that, we will create these three mantras also in circle. So with that, we went to Swami. Swami was very happy. Then he said, you make a wall on every side, so that the mantra power will not edit outside. Yes. This is not pertaining to only Hindu religion. So you make all that symbols of the religion into the all sides of the chakra. I put a figure in the back, a mantra that we said, how to collect that mantra, who will store the mantra, that is the chakra. So when you chant the mantra, this chakra will absorb everything and keep itself and send it to the Vibham deity. There it gets stored. Then Swami said, while you are driving, you go on chant Gayatri. When you keep this yantram into your pocket, it will absorb it. It will be stored there. Any difficulty at any time, that will come for your rescue. Even the ladies let them keep it in their own bags. It will help them. Sri Subarao merged in Swami in December of 2003 chanting Sai Ram, Sai Ram. Swami himself made all the arrangements for the traditional funeral ceremonies. Baba told his son that Sri Subarao had attained his end in a good way and achieved the goal of life, union with him, the Lord. The three Gayatris are in Sanskrit language. Here is the translation. Sri Sai Gayatri We know Sri Satya Sai as the Supreme Divinity. We meditate on this God of Truth. May that Almighty lead us to liberation. Sai Surya Gayatri We learn that this effulgent Sai is divinity itself. We meditate on this divine radiance. We pray that this Sai's Sun God lead us on the path of righteousness towards liberation. Sai Hiranyagar Bhagayatri we know this embodiment of divine love Satya Sai. We meditate on this golden wombed divine personality. May the truth incarnate Sri Satya Sai inspire us on the path of liberation. The divine compassion knows no bounds. Thank you for watching Prashanti Jai Sai Ram. Let's start off with Prashanti, where the pretty anchor Nalini Bhatt will narrate a special episode on Satya Sai Baba. Come on close, here it is. Love is my form, truth is my breath, this is my food. Love is my form, truth is my breath. My form, truth is my bread, this is my food. We at Prashanti offer our humblest pranams at the most sacred lotus feet of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. Welcome, brothers and sisters. This is Nalini. Even though every date on the calendar in connection with Sri Baba is sacred, November 23rd, 1975, 
his 50th birthday was a landmark for from this juncture Swami work gained momentum and took off with tremendous speed. His numerous projects based on the principle that service to man is service to God took strong hold. Baba, leading by his personal example of selfless service and love, was truly the divine charioteer, driving humanity on the path of selfless service leading to spiritual growth. Sri Baba's birthday always became the launch pad for launching his various projects. 50th birthday 1975 was very significant in that sense. Let us watch. For the protection of the virtuous, for the destruction of the evil doers, and for establishing righteousness on a firm footing, I incarnate from age to age. Whenever disharmony overwhelms the world, the Lord will incarnate in human form to re-educate the human community in the paths of peace. More than 4 lakh people gathered in the tiny hamlet of Puttaparthi. Baba gave them a taste of how his master plan would unfold. He symbolically showed his resolve to guide mankind back to God via two acts. One, the erection of the Grand Gopuram main entrance. And two, the debut of the Rathotsavam or the Chariot Festival. His vow to resurrect the Vedic knowledge was manifest in the magnificent Purushottama Yajna. His emphasis on service was visible in the way he conducted the Narayana Seva. Satyasai has not come to start any new religion, but to make a Hindu a better Hindu, a Muslim a better Muslim, a Christian a better Christian and so on. While the inauguration of the new 50 feet Sarvadharma Aikya Stupa revealed this facet about Baba's avatarhood, the inauguration of a grand building for the Ishwarama school stood for his intent to revolutionize the modern education system. Through his words too, Swami defined who Satya Sai is. There is only one caste, caste of humanity. There is only one religion, religion of love. There is only one God, he is omnipresent, he is Satya Sai. It is not possible for you to attribute the name of Satya Sai to this human form, Satya, Truth. Sai is one who is resting on Truth. Truth is God, live in Truth. Make others live in Truth, all shall be well. The nine discourses delivered during this festival stand out as jewels divine, guiding all at the cosmic level, the societal level, the organizational level and the individual level. Everyone gained something special and enjoyed delirious bliss witnessing their Lord in His resplendent form. Reliving those golden moments is sure to bring the same bliss, blessings and benevolence into our lives too. When the sun is over your head, there is no shadow. So too, when faith is steady in your head, it does not cast the shadow of doubt. The Lord has often said that all religions are one. All the names of God are His. All the ways to God lead to Him. His blessings are for all, sinner and saint alike. He makes no distinctions and like His message, His blessing is universal and timeless. He has come to say, I have not come to start a new religion. I haven't come to gather devotees. I have come to reestablish the uh, rhythm of righteousness in the world. It does not matter the name or form in which you prefer to worship, whether it's Christ or Krishna or Buddha or Muhammad. The important thing is the heart. There being only one religion, the religion of love. Follow the master. Face the devil. Fight to the end. Finish the game. These four F you should establish as the four pillars on which your life will be supported. These words precisely describe the avataric mission of Bhagwan Baba. The arrival of the Lord is also anxiously awaited by saints and sages, said Sri Baba in his 50th birthday discourse. Spiritual aspirants prayed and I have come. My main tasks are to foster the Vedas and to foster devotees. Swami's assurance during his 50th birthday discourse was heartwarming. He said, many hesitate to believe that things will improve and that life will be happy and joyful and that the golden age will recur. Let me assure you, 
that this embodiment of righteousness, this divine body has not come in vain. It will succeed in averting the crisis that has come upon humanity. Thank you for watching Prashanti. Jai Sai Ram. Let's travel to Anka Nalini Bhatt in Pennsylvania from where she will unveil her beauty and her beautiful story on Satya Sai Baba. Here she is. Love is my form, truth is my breath, this is my food. Love is my form, truth is my breath. My form, truth is my breath, this is my food. We at Prashanti offer our humblest pranams at the most sacred lotus feet of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. Welcome, brothers and sisters. This is Nalini. We have been focusing on important landmarks that happened in the decade from 1970 to 1980 on Prashanti. Today, let us learn about Srimati Ishwarama High School in Puttaparthi, which was inaugurated in 1976. As we have seen on Prashanti before, Mother Ishwarama, Baba's revered mother, was the main force behind Swami's educational projects. It was on her request that Sri Baba started the College for Women in Anantapur in 1968. In 1976, Sri Baba started Srimati Ishwarama High School in Puttaparthi, again as per his mother's wish to provide education for the children of Parthi. Ishwarama was not a scholar, yet her heart was filled with thoughts of empowering people, especially women with education. Her desire to have a small primary school for the children of Puttaparthi later blossomed into Sri Satya Sai University and education in human values taking strong roots in countries across the globe. Let us watch Sri Baba narrate about his mother's wish. The footage also shows the daughter of Sri Java, the founder of the famed Joy Ice Cream, talk about Mother Ishwara Ma's enthusiasm for education. For this body, there was a mother, Ishwarama. She was uneducated, she was actually illiterate. But what wonderful thing she used to tell. The little children go walking to the school in Bukapattam from our village. Swami, could you please build a school? And I said, I have no money with me. She removed the golden chain from neck and then she said, sell it. And then I just wanted to test you. I shall build the school on the second day. One, one week it was complete and all the children were admitted to the school. In his discourse at the inauguration, Baba declared, this village will certainly be uplifted when more of its children receive higher education. Om Sairam. In 1968, when Swami went to Africa, he left Ishwarama in a house. Amma was very happy in a house because she was very used to our family. We know each other from 1959. We are four daughters and one son. Every day she used to watch us girls going to school and she saw how independent we were. She was really surprised to see that what a difference it makes for girls to have education. Every day when I used to come back from school, Amma used to be waiting for me and she used to tell me all different old stories of Swami. I came to know more about Swami through Amma. When Swami returned to India, Amma was taken to the airport. In the car only when she was coming back, to our house, Amma told Swami, give me a promise. Swami said, yes, what promise do you want? You start education for girls. I saw the difference it makes for girls to be educated in Java's house. His daughters are all educated and they are so different. In our villages, the girls only do cooking and washing. I want them to be like these girls of the city. So Swami said, done, I will surely do. Swami told Java, now this is your duty. You get a land in Anandpur for the college. So daddy said, okay. Daddy got a beautiful land in Anandpur, which now happens to be the Anandpur campus. This is how Swami kept his promise to his mother and girls started being educated in Anandpur College. Education for girls in school was there in the Ishwarama school, which was started later. That's why we have the Ishwarama school in Parthi and we have the Anandpur College for the girls. Sairam. 
I am here in Ishirama High School. You are doing Bhagawan's work by working for the villages of Puttaparthi. God bless you. His family will be very happy. While you are the king, kingmaker is a teacher. Let's follow Swami's teachings and become his best instruments. The school at every step, big or small, is guided by the comprehensive educational philosophy of Bhagwan Baba who emphatically advocates Be for life, not for living. Money comes and goes. Morality comes and grows. Divya Ma Baba's educational institution stand apart is the governing principle of character development with academic excellence which contributes largely to shaping the youngsters to become ideal citizens. Thank you for watching Prashanti Jai Sai Ram. Let's kick this hour off with Nalini Bhatt's sensational segment titled Prashanti whereby she will feature a lovely tale on Satya Sai Baba. Let's take a look. Come close, look, enjoy. Love is my form, truth is my breath, this is my food. Love is my form, truth is my breath. This is my food. Love is my form, truth is my breath, this is my food. We at Prashanti offer our humblest pranams at the most sacred lotus feet of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. Welcome brothers and sisters, this is Nalini. Sri Baba's mission was twofold. One was on the physical level where he provided facilities to people by building hospitals, houses, universities and so on. The second, on a much deeper metaphysical level, was the rejuvenation of Vedas and upliftment of dharma or righteousness. Today on Prashanti, we bring you examples of these two aspects of Sri Baba's mission. The Sri Satya Sai General Hospital Whitefield, inaugurated in 1976, serving the sick free of cost, and Purnachandra Hall, inaugurated in 1972, where yajnas, cultural events, Navaratri festivals, etc. took place, fostering Vedic rejuvenation. The saga of Sri Satya Sai General Hospital starts in the 1950s, when the tiny hamlet of Puttaparthi lacked even the basic amenities of health, education and water. Moved by the plight of the villagers, including pregnant women who had to trudge long distances to receive medical care, the compassionate mother Ishwaramma pleaded with her son Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba to provide facilities for health, education and water to the villagers. When little, little children have little ailments, like the mothers should walk to book a Pattam and they mean well anything can happen. So me, could you please build a hospital for these little ones? So I built a small hospital here. So she was a person who should tell things which were for the good of all mankind. In response to the mother's plea, his universal mission of mercy took a distinctive turn through establishment of institutions of service that stand today as tall testimonies of divine love and compassion. We have a brief clip of the Purnachandra Hall which Sri Baba inaugurated in 1972 during the Navaratri festival to facilitate yajnas, discourses, conferences and other cultural events. As 
as we have seen before, Sri Baba would perform many yajnas and yagas and festivals at Prashanti Nilayam. My task is not merely to cure, console and remove individual misery. Baba has declared, there is something far more important. The task of the mango tree is to produce the mango fruit. The leaves, the branches and the trunk of the tree are useful in their own way, no doubt. But the main aim of the mango tree is to produce the mango fruit. So too, the removal of misery and distress are all incidental to my mission. My main task is re-establishment of Vedas and Shastras in the hearts of all people. Purnachandra Hall, the most beautiful and spiritually vibrating hall with soul-inspiring sculptures and paintings was called Purnachandra in memory of an ardent devotee of Sri Baba, Sri Purnachandra Kamani. The Purnachandra Auditorium is spacious with a seating capacity of 15,000 people. Mural of avatars and god forms, seers and saints from all religions and times adorn the hall. The 2400 square meters wide column of this auditorium is the biggest in entire Asia. The devotee Sri Purnachandra was indeed blessed for the hall has witnessed hundreds of holy events through the years. Thank you for watching Prashanti. Jai Sai Ram.